Is Bitcoin potentially headed to 11,700? And if so, could a new all-time high potentially be looming here in the shadows? Let's dive in and analyze. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. Today, we're going to discuss the Bitcoin price and the action inside the chart right now. Sheesh, look at this absolutely savage rip, my friends. Bitcoin is breaking all sorts of technical areas right now that were looking problematic. And this is starting to look like it's shaping up for what could be a massive bull run. But we need to approach with caution as there is still there are still several things here that could be in Bitcoin's way to an all time high. We're going to discuss all of this. Why is eleven thousand seven hundred important, et cetera, et cetera. So you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell and let's get this crypto moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen, moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. But of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own speculative opinions. I am not your financial advisor. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading. This market is extremely high risk. With that being said, my friends, Bitcoin has broken some of the most key critical structures. This right here, these two prior tops, you could see this was the area that Bitcoin had the most trouble uh, getting any momentum past here. The past two times, right? Multi-month support flipped into two staunch resistance points. And for the first time now, my friends, we have officially broken above those highs. Golf claps, cheers all around, hodlers and moon boys alike are all dancing on the tabletops. Little James with the astronaut helmet on. Oh, Kirby, it's time for the moon. Take me to the moon. All right, my friend, let's calm down and get back to business. Right now, Bitcoin broke out of this squeezed triangular pennant to the upside. It then broke through this area of potential key local resistance, which now, my friends, if you've noticed, I've turned green because it could, in fact, become new local support. If back tested, let's get this crypto. Now, let's take a look at the alligator, one of my favorites here for the macro trend. We had a bullish alligator cross right there on the upward sloping trend line of the parallel channel, right at the end of that pennant, squeezed us, got the cross, and we ripped. Alligator looks good on the one day, looks even better on the four hour. I mean, sheesh, my friends, this is some absolute savagery here. Let's take a look now at several other indicators. The DMI here, the ADX has finally crossed above the 25 this 25 line here on this indicator in particular is what the indicator considers to be a strong trend. We are seeing the white line now above that and the green momentum indicator way up there, mooning exactly what I wanted to see for the potential of a sustainable uptrend here. Looking very nice there on the one day, looking even better here on the four hour, my friends. Look at that moon. We haven't seen anything like this in quite some time. You have to go back drastically in this chart to find anything that looks similar. Momentum moving up, ADX white line way up there, almost at a 70 at this point in time. Let's get this crypto. Now, take a look here at the DPO as well. Daily DPO. The DPO here is looking for potential market cycle tops and bottoms. Uh, it takes the price out of it. It's just purely looking at... Uh, what it perceives to be the pressure of the trend. We could see that we've had many times here in the past where this red zone has been in confluence with some very key market tops, all right? And right now, what I do like about this is that there still is room to go. We're not at the box yet. We're not in the box yet. Of course, it's just, this doesn't have to be respected. I mean, there are times here where we, we've gotten above that, right? I'm just stating that right now, we are getting close. We are getting close. And just so we're all on the same page here, let me just uh, let's move this and make this a little bit bigger. So, for example, right, with the DPO, this last time it touched here at the top, it was the local top, right? I mean, essentially, this just trended sideways. So in and of itself, it was pretty much the end of a trend, if you want to look at it 
that way, right? Uh, you could have looked at this to say, hey, this may not move for a while or it may drop down from this range uh, if you were looking at the DPO from a historical standpoint. But many other times here, my friends, this has certainly called huge, huge tops um, in, in terms of Bitcoin. I mean, especially back here in 2018. I mean, come on. This, this called three in a row cyclical tops there of a huge swing high, right? Swing low, huge swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. Absolutely pinpoint accurate. Of course, past performance does not indicate future results, but we're close, my friends, to that range. But what I like about it is that right now we're going to discuss why 11,700 is so important. And I'll show you why I like that DPO. So what I want to do now is go over to the CME futures chart. Okay. So two things to understand. There is a gap here from the price action that we saw, I mean, absolutely explode here over the past several days. There's a gap. These gaps have love to fill. Of course, they do not need to fill. There is a gap there at 9,735. Just keep that on your radar. But here's the big kahuna, my friends. This one right here, the gap at 11,795. All right. That's all the way up here. And Bitcoin's not that far away from it right now. So, for me, if Bitcoin can get up to that level, I mean, it's possible there that on the DPO as well, let's just go back to that now. It's possible that that coincides with the DPO. Let me pull it up again here. It's possible that the DPO uh, is going to be around or in this red box at that point in time. And if we were to see a rejection there, right, following uh, the historic pattern that that's we've been seeing take shape, if it is to do such a thing, what possibly could happen here, in my opinion, my friends, let's just draw a little line here uh, around 11,795, right? Just to put it around about where it is, right? If we get up there and get rejected and then look to fill that gap back down at the 9,735 region, right? Uh, this whole range now, my friends, if the DPO is to plunge right from there, just like it did over here, it's possible that we just get that market cycle top there. We find new support above the old resistance and we look to continue higher. Let's get this crypto. If you're appreciating this thus far, my friends, don't forget to hit that like button. I so appreciate it. It really helps the stream. So now, uh, Basically, you're probably wondering what I'm doing right now at this very specific moment in time. Well, you should all know, my friends, the Don, Don, Don Carbonaccio went long at 9,525. Shout out to my VIPs. You guys know I posted my alert when I went long. I am still in, inside this trade right now, my friends. I did take some profit. My original target was right up at that resistance range around 10,420. So I did take profit on 25% of my position. Right now, I'm still actively uh, in the that position with 75% open. I'm using a trailing stop loss strategy here and I'm preparing for my next trades right now. If you'd like to see exactly where I'll be looking to get in my next trade, potentially take profit, etc., then I will see you in VIP right now after this video. Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. So, uh, yes, I'm still in a trade here. Uh, I think right now that for me, Eyeing up this 11,795 target certainly seems reasonable in my opinion. Uh, personally, for me, right, this is, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just stating for myself here. Um, this is a little bit risky uh, entering new positions in right now. I mean, anytime you see something go straight up like that, uh, it, it's higher risk, put it at that. Doesn't mean we can't just keep going straight up. It's just higher risk. Um, as these markets love to ebb and flow, inhale, exhale, they could dump around, pump around, right? Um, for me right now, my target, with my position that's been open from way down here, my friends, right? It's different than opening a position now. I'm willing to let this ride for myself to try and get to this gap fill. That's basically uh, what I'm looking at right now. If this gap is filled, maybe we get a dump, right? Then to create that support that I just outlined possibly in this vicinity and look to rip higher, or it's possible we go right through it. And my friends, if we do happen to go right through this and su find support somewhere around here on top of this old resistance and on top of the gap, my friends, uh, 
this could be blast off mode. I, I don't want to sound FOMO-y. That's not what I'm uh, trying to convey here. I'm just stating that with the state of the U.S. dollar, look at it. Look at the DXY, my friends. The last time we saw this type of price action on the DXY, which was over here, we had the most parabolic bull run in Bitcoin history in terms of how much money entered this market. And what we could see, let's actually just take it. I just want you guys to be aware. It's right from here all the way to here. That was the point in time where the U.S. dollar index plunged into the abyss. All of that movement, essentially from below $1,000 USD to around $20,000. That was in confluence with this downward momentum in the DXY. We're seeing similar price action here once more. This was another piece of confluence that added sentiment to my long position at 9525 Right now, all of these grizzly bear degenerates in here, that's right, not moon boy degenerates today, little James. We're all moon boy degenerates today, little James. <laughs> but the grizzly bears in here started to ignore a lot of signs that said, hey, Sure, we are at this potential resistance range, but there was a lot of confluence starting to build here, my friends. Even on the most basic of levels, it's just that Bitcoin kept this higher low trajectory intact. And then we started to see all of these shifts there, right? The alligator, BMI, uh, a, a plethora of things. I've been pulling up different indicators uh, across different videos, but right now, my friends, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a pullback. But it wouldn't surprise me if we look to keep this going up into that gap before possibly a heinous sell-off. Uh, it, it is what it is. You have to make your own decisions and your own sentiments, right? I'll never tell you what to do with your capital. For me right now, um, you know, I'm in a trade from, from much lower down. And like I said, uh, you would have seen exactly when I entered that trade in VIP if you were in there. So uh, if you're not already in VIP, my friends, today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. So I think the ball right now is certainly in the bull's court. I think that gap is very important there. GBTC as well, right? This is uh, another instrument with the underlying asset of Bitcoin in it. Um, basically, I pointed this out on the stream a few nights ago as well, that uh, we were seeing a possible falling wedge here, bullish pattern. We saw a breakout. I shouted it out for you guys. I said, listen, my friends, with everything else coming into confluence there that I'm seeing, we also have this pattern on this chart here, okay? And look at it. Just an absolute ripanachi don dot. Tell your wife. Tell your fought. It's time to get this crypto. So, I mean, my friends right now, we're breaking downward sloping trend lines on this chart here as well. I mean, things are starting to look up and up. Look, we just got our alligator cross here. It's interesting how these charts all have a little bit uh, different indicator readings, right? That's why I like to look at a plethora of different charts all pertaining to the same asset. It really helps to cross-reference uh, these charts against one another, right? So I'm really liking what I'm seeing here, my friends. Um, you know, I don't want you to get FOMO-y. That's never a good thing, right? Um, and you never just want to blindly buy or sell or long or short without a plan, right? You have to have a plan. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. The Don does not plan to fail. The Don plans to succeed. And right now, uh, when you take trades that set you up in a nice, nice spot, you can sit back, relax, uh, and watch the trend play out rather than running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Oh, Kirby, Kirby, am I long? Am I short? Wrecked, wrecked. You don't want to be like that, little James. Okay. So as you know, puff, the magic moon boy lives by the sea. Let them go off and, and, and go nuts, regardless if we continue to pump up or, or not. I'm just going to remain calm here and rational and let the charts speak to me, not the other way around, not some sentiment that the world is ending, that the fiat system is collapsing. I understand the DXY right now is under pressure. For me, this is not that the world is ending. Hyperinflation, Carbonaccio, $8 million a corn. I'm not in that uh, mindset right now. I am in the mindset of this here is showing severe weakness, in my opinion. 
which is helping assets such as gold, silver, other asset classes, equities, and apparently now crypto as well. So for right now, with everything and the way it looks, the Don is more bullish than not here. I can put that little moon boy hat on myself today, my friends, and I say it with pride. The Don right now is seeing signs here that I've been waiting for. You all know, underneath this range, I was under the impression we could see a savage dump. Right now, it feels like the tide is turning. The winds have a changed. And Don Don Carbonaccio is going to continue to look to potentially crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can and get this crypto. My friends, if you want to see how I'm setting up all of my next trades, time is of the essence. You get alerts just like this one, my friends, where I post charts, my exact entries, my exact exits, my exact potential take profit zones, my where I'm trailing, my stop loss, all of it. This market is finally on fire again. Watch all these newcomers come back into the market on the hype the euphoria over the next several weeks. You watch it. The Don is preparing here in advance to potentially take advantage of these moves to the best of my ability. If you want to see exactly how I'll be uh, catering to all of my open trades, where exactly and how exactly I'll be setting up all of my next trades, my friends, I will be posting it all for you exclusively in real time in VIP. I will see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. My friends, if you haven't already, a thumbs up is so appreciated. A share of the video would be even better, to be honest, but you don't have to do that. But at a minimum, what you should do here, my friends, is hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, and select all. That gives you notifications exactly when I upload these videos. If you've been in the Bitcoin market for any amount of time, you know that these analyses are best consumed in a timely fashion. This will give you the notification exactly when I upload. So hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, and select all. Let's get this crypto. And as I've stated, my friends, I post in real time around the clock 24-7 in VIP. I can only be on YouTube here at most once per day. VIP, it's around the clock. Exactly. Real time. As I look to enter, exit, potentially take profit, etc. So uh, today's the day, my friend. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video, okay? Um, until next time, my friends, just remain cool, calm, and collected. Have a plan. Don't FOMO without a plan. If you are going to FOMO, have a plan at least to, to mitigate your risk, etc. right? Don't ever want to uh, lose your shirt in this market. But uh, that's going to wrap it up here, okay, my friends? Very exciting times here. So I'm going to get back to my VIP right now. I will see you there in VIP right now after this video. And until next time, my friends, the Don has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Come on up.